everyone. It's Raquel, and I'm here with Raj Daniels from OpenTime. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you. So talk with us a little bit about OpenTime. Sure, sure. So OpenTime app allows you to essentially broadcast your availability to your network. And the reason we started that is we found that a lot of people want to connect people in their network, but they don't know when they're available to meet. So essentially, we allowed to say, you know, when you're available, eventually it'll tell you where you're available. So for example, Raj is available in downtown Dallas from 10 to 2 next Tuesday. And so my network will know that, and they can essentially book a time with me. We can grab coffee. The entire mission is to bring people back to doing this and maybe get away a little bit more from doing this. I love that. I'm a big, big fan of let's have real life, and real life is a little bit better than the internet. So what I'm telling people is that, you know, we have so much stored value and information. I have no idea what you do, what your background is. You have no idea who I am. And, you know, we can only do so much through here, right? And so consider us, if you will, like the last mile for LinkedIn. Like, there's a whole virtual network, if you will, but we want to engage people in real life, so offline, essentially. So our mission is to connect everyone offline. That's fantastic. So talk a little bit about what you've seen. You know, you're obviously an entrepreneur here in North Texas, and there's been a ton of activity that's happened over the last couple of years, and it almost seems to be exponentially growing year by year. It is just phenomenal. So I went to this event last year in the Red Brick building downtown. Yeah. 400 odd people and I thought this is kind of cool. I was just getting into the entrepreneur scene at the time, uh, founding the company and what I've seen this year. So I tell people that I think we're in the front, Dallas is in the front of that proverbial hockey stick if you will. And I mean look, 800 people here-ish and I just talked to Michael and he said we're expecting to double this next year. Startup week for next year, we're expecting 6,000 people. I mean it, what I've seen is just the community has come together and grown at the same time. So I'm up north in Louisville and I'm trying to bring people down there, down to the deck talking to people in Frisco, in South Lake, in Grapevine. Um, you know, now if you have an idea about a business or a startup, and not necessarily just tech, but just want support around it, you can find that so much easier than you could a year or two ago. So that, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. There's been, I mean, I know that Trey's going to talk a little bit about that tonight in the address. Just the number of resources that are available for entrepreneurship here has just exploded in this area. I so, mean, you know, the yeah. co-working spaces, the incubators, accelerators, the, uh, the open the open coffee clubs. Yeah. I mean, what do we have now? Seven, eight, I think. There's, there's eight or nine across the metro bus. I mean, it's insane. And and yeah. you know, you find people that have been there, done that, willing to give you time, willing to give you energy to sit down with you and say, you know what, I've done this, done this, do it this way, don't do it this way. And what we try to, we just try to pass that on as much as we can. And again, like I said, the community has just been so supportive, so it's phenomenal, really good. Well, fantastic. Thank you for speaking with us Thank today. You. And. Well, thank you, and it's looking forward to hearing more from State of Entrepreneurship and more from Open Time thank as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yes. Have a good evening. Thank you. Keep up with more information on launchcfw.com and our videos on YouTube.